Mondi Don, 66, has revealed he had to wait three weeks for his booster appointment due to the overwhelming exhaustion and stress put on the NHS during the booster rollout scheme. Boris Johnson recently announced that every eligible adult in the UK should be offered a booster by the end of January under plans to boost protection against the Omicron variant. In view of his 244,500 Twitter followers, the horticulturist penned, got my booster jab this afternoon. Had to wait over three weeks for the appointment but it was done with speed, professionalism and great cheerfulness in the face of what must be overwhelming exhaustion and stress. He continued, I am intensely grateful. Fans took to the comments to talk to the gardener about the rollout scheme and their experiences. Rowley Edwards said, we are grateful for everything that you bring to our lives in these uncertain times. Gardener Mamrul added, glad you could get it. I'm relying on watching old episodes of Gardener's World to get me through the winter. I cannot tell you how much we love watching it. Veronica 1967 commented, good news Monty. It might make your arm ache a bit tomorrow but it's worth it. Others, however, were not happy with Mondi using his platform to talk about the booster scheme. Anana Searle said, Mondi we love you but we don't need to know your jab status. Jj's views added, three injections for an illness that has a zero. 0.5% infection fatality rate. An average age of death in excess of 80 years old. Monty, I gave you more credit for intelligence than this. Monty's tweet comes after news hit that the NHS are to hire an extra 52,000 vaccinators and volunteers to ramp up its booster drive one year after the national vaccination program began. This huge recruitment push comes as millions more people are allowed to book their COVID vaccine as the NHS cuts the qualifying time from six months down to three. Many have been going to Walgreens after Boris announced this month that every eligible adult should be offered a COVID booster by the end of January. He said, we're going to be throwing everything at it, to ensure everyone eligible is offered a booster in just over two months. Boris announced that no new restrictions will be imposed before Christmas this Saturday. However, there remains too much uncertainty about Omicron and its effects so further measures can't be ruled out. The UK recorded 90,629 COVID cases and 172 deaths on Tuesday, worrying many with the surge in cases. The World Health Organization WHO, says the variant is spreading faster than previous forms and has warned countries around the world about the threat it could pose to health systems.